Home Shopping Seller. Welcome to the new Seller Beginner Class. I'll be your trainer, me. Hello Shopee Sellers! So we last left off on Marketing Center. Now we are going to discuss Business Insights and its relationship with your Marketing Center. Okay? So ano ba yung Business Insights? Business Insights is actually a free tool wherein you can take a look at your marketing performance. It's the same concept as Account Health, but this time Business Insights takes a look at your marketing in terms of data, performance, you know, if you are improving, and from this uh, from this point, you can actually create strategies in terms of what marketing tool you're going to use in your products. Okay? So, saan ba nakikita yung business insights? It is actually in your seller center. You can take a look at it in the app or you can take a look at it on the desktop version. For this one, I suggest that you also use the desktop version. So, it's in data. Click nyo lang po yung business insights. So, once you click business insights, you can take a look at the components of business insights. So, ano ba yung mga nasa business insights natin? We have the dashboard, your product tab, the sales tab, your marketing tab, your chat performance tab, and your live streaming and feed. So these are the data or the uh, the performances that we take a look at in terms of your marketing performance in Shopee. So, Business Insights is your one-stop portal for all the data you need in order to gain insights for your business and make informed decisions. So, the best part of Business Insights is that you can export data. You can take a look at your performance uh, real-time, past day, past a week, past a month, or any specific day that's past. So, what do we want to achieve with Business Insights? So, you need to interpret the trends of uh, your sales in terms of campaigns that were passed na and then campaigns na gusto nyo uh, mag-participate in. So for example, uh, you were able to participate in 99 and of course you want to also participate in 1111 or 1212. You can interpret that uh, you can interpret the data that you've had with 99 so that you can better prepare yourself with supply and demand come 1212. So or 1111. So it is also a way for you to deep dive into product level data and customize your strategy. Ano ba mas effective? My discounts ba or my vouchers? What's the best way for me to sell this product using a promotion? So, you can also understand the sales metrics and boost your sales, monitor your real-time performance, and also this is a way for you to track your performance with new sellers over repeat purchases. Yung mga uh, buyers that were able to purchase before, and then they were going to buy, uh, they are going to buy another product from you. So, let's take a look at the dashboard. So, the dashboard tab shows an overview of key metrics and trends for your entire shop. So, ito na yung parang pinaka-jam-packed version of the Business Insights. Nandito po ang key metrics. It shows a trend chart according to selected metrics and period. You can customize that if you want. Your product ranking. It also gives you an overview of your product performance according to four categories. By sales, units, page views, and conversion. So, we can also take a look at category ranking. It also gives a quick overview of which category of products have been performing in terms of sales. So, ano yung best category mo in terms of performance yes, sa pagbenta or sa pag sales. So, that's part of the dashboard. So, if you want to learn more actually about business insights, you can take a look at it on the Seller Education Hub. We also have advanced training on this. Please take a look at the videos if you have time. So, moving towards dashboard key metrics. Yung key metrics natin is sales, orders, conversion rate, sales per order, visitors, and page views. Now, each and every one of them might sound confusing, but not to worry. You can hover your mouse with a question mark, and then it will explain each metric. So, conversion rate, the number of unique buyers who paid for orders divided by the total number of unique visitors. So, basically, sa dinami-rami ng buyers that would take a look at your account, ilan yung bumibili? And then sales per order. So it gives an idea of an average basket size. Do they just buy one item or a set of items or a combination of items? From that point, kasi you can create strategies na gawa kaya ako ng bundle deal or something like that. And then page views. So, yung visitors and page views, they don't go necessarily hand in hand. Visitors is the number of unique visitors in your shop. Page views, number of times people visited your shop. Okay? So, in terms of the key metrics sa dashboard, you can actually track the data real-time, past a day, past a week, or past a month. And then, 
you can take a look at product rankings. Ayan. So, you can take a look at your top 5 products, top 5 most viewed products. Ayan. So, top 5 category siya sa product rankings. And then, sa category ranking, you can also take a look at the categories that you have. So, you will take a look at the performance of that. So, sa product tab, guys, it's a quick understanding of buyer's behavior towards the product that you have. So, performance breaks down the individual product performances. So, malalaman nyo kung ano yung best-selling product nyo through the product tab. And then, yung diagnosis, it actually helps the seller understand areas of improvement. Baka may concern tayo in terms of how much you price the item, uh, possibly a photo concern kasi ang konti ng, ano niya, ng views or anything like that. So, this is actually the best way for you to strategize which marketing tool you're going to use. Ayan. So, sa product overview, guys, ayan, see the number of visits, add to cart, and paid order for your shops. So, makikita mo yung add to cart at compare mo yan sa mga sellers that actually check out. So, maybe you need to work on the pricing or something about your product. If marami nag-add to cart but they don't check out. So, that's a good strategy to take a look at as well. Now, your metric trend, you can select up to four metrics to be visualized on the trend chart. So, ano ba gusto mo makita ng trend? Within the specific timeline, gusto ko makita yung uh, trend ng visitors ko, page views and units, or yung bounce rate ko as well. Yeah. So, if you ever feel confused about anything that we are discussing, feel free to hover your mouse regarding the business insights. Ayan. So you can take a look at your top 10 product rankings as a shortcut as well. And then, you can actually customize the time period. So sabi ko nga, real time, past a day, past a week, past a month, or anything that's past. You can customize the metric selection, and of course, you can customize the product ranking as well. Ayan. So sa product tab performance, why is product tab important to my operation? So it's important kasi you can understand your performance trends. So yung insights in how your metrics change over time can help in business planning. Malalaman mo ko ano yung specific months na matumal yung product mo so that you can adapt to that change. And then you can uh, deep dive into the details. So pinpoint specific areas where your products are doing well and other areas that need improvement. So what are you doing with this product that you can actually apply to the product that not doing well and then troubleshoot poor performance so from that point you're gonna edit the product listing or possibly the price of your product or the discount altogether so the diagnosis guys so diagnosis type shows which products fall into each diagnosis type so pwede mo makita yung mga products mo that decreased in sales yung poor reviews mo high return request high late ship high seller cancellation so it has something to do with ops rin as well and then poor conversion rate tsaka decrease in views so you can take a look at the definition and tips and then the product details of each diagnosis that you're experiencing yeah. so sa sales tab naman guys the sales tab helps you to analyze your sales performance metrics with more detailed data so it's an overview that shows how many users have visited your shop and buyers that have converted so it has something to do with your conversion rate and composition helps you understand your sales according to category order price and buyers so you can have a sales tab overview that would look a lot like this if you take a look at the slide. So nandiyan ang sales metric natin that gives an overview of site traffic and sales metric. And then we also have conversion rates. So ito yung nagsasabi ng percentage of shoppers who would proceed from ordering step to the next. Basically, magche-check out talaga yung mga buyer. So conversion rate. Ilan, so, dinami namin ng buyers, so take a look at your account, ilan yung actually pumibili. So, the order process can be divided into three steps. Yung nag-review ng listing mo, tapos magsasubmit siya ng order kasi nakita yung listing mo, and then users that pay after that kasi nag-check out sila. So, therefore, there are also three types of conversion rates that you can actually analyze as part of your business insights. Yeah. So, why is conversion rate important for a seller? So, pag naiintindihan nyo na kasi yung conversion rate, guys, yung each step at yung each types ng conversion rate, you can identify the weakest link. So, saan ka mahina sa pag-check out ni buyer or sa actually pag-view ng listing. So, from that point, you can create new strategies with marketing center. So, baka mamaya, you need to name your products accurately o baka mamaya, mas kailangan mas detailed yung product description mo, pricing issue ba siya, uh, is that a concern wherein you're not replying uh, promptly to buyers kasi di ba may rule tayo within 12 hours and then maintain a good shop rating as well. This helps you do that. So, so overview guys, uh, it's a basic overview of the trending chart. It allows you to monitor selected performance metrics for changes over time. So you can customize your sales tab. 
So composition naman guys, so for the sales tab composition, you can use this section to know more about your target market which allows you to make choices to target them more effectively. So hahanapin mo ngayon or you're gonna customize, you can view categories and subcategories with your sales number, number of buyers, and conversion rates. So this can actually be used to choose the categories to focus on. So if you take a look at your sales, may kita mo si category composition, your order price composition, your segment, ano to guys, yung segment sales nyo based on the price range of your order. So they view the price that most buyers are willing to pay. And then you can use conversion rate to decide the price range to focus on. And then meron din tayong buyer's composition. So then we have the marketing tab. So marketing tab, ayan na yung mga deals nyo. Dito na kayo gagawa ng strategies. This goes hand in hand with your marketing center. So nandiyan yung discount promotion, bundle deal, etc. So it allows you to look at the performance of the products that are under the running campaign that you're creating or that you created. Ayan. So please take a look at the campaigns. And then we have chat tab. So chat tab refers to your chat performance rate or CRR. So the chat tab lets you have an overview of your inquiry, uh, inquiry rate or your inquiry rate, your chat response rate and conversion rate. So to remind you, meron kang 12 hours to reply to a buyer. If you are doing well as a seller in terms of the chat response rate department, you're gonna have a good performance that would reflect on your business insights. So a higher chat response rate would ensure higher levels of customer satisfaction, which helps to increase your conversion rate. So, live stream and feed tab, guys. To remind you, we have the newest way for you to promote your shop or your business in the platform. It's called live streaming. So, it's the same as our uh, any other social media live streaming platform. You are going to use live streaming as a platform in Shopee to sell your product via a live setup. So, you can actually have buyers go to your live stream and then from that point, they can add to cart items and you can provide uh, coins, mga freebies, and you can actually showcase how to use the product. So in order for you to track the performance of that campaign or that marketing tool to engage with your shoppers, the live streaming tab shows you an overview of your live streaming performance. Makikita niyo yung key metrics niyan. Lima yan eh. The viewers, peak viewers mo, yung pinakamarami. Your average watch time, until what time sila nanonood ng content mo. Orders and your sales. So it's in a chart display. Makikita nyo. So kung mapapansin nyo, from that point, you can actually work on your live streaming. So kunyari, you are having concerns with the average watch time. Perhaps you need to focus more on a content na madaling, uh, madaling i-accept ng uh, buyers or madaling nilang like, i-take in. It's not something na parang they're gonna get bored and then eventually move on to another content. And then, may kita mo rin yung peak viewers mo. So, kung konti yung peak viewers mo, perhaps you need to create uh, gold co uh, Shopee gold coins that you can throw away in uh, the live stream or you can actually create vouchers that they can use through the live stream so that they can add to card your product. Yeah. So, the live streaming list shows your top 10 live stream sessions sorted by session time. You can take a look at that as well. And then, what does the feed tab do? So, your feed tab, it shows you an overview of your post performances through two sections overview of your key metrics such as viewers and impressions in a daily bar, chart display, and all posts that contributed to your selected key metric on each day. So after the overview, Menantai list view. So it sorts your detailed video or picture feed performance by post creation. Yeah. Basically guys, if you want to learn more about live streaming, you can apply to get the uh, get the permission to use live streaming as a platform in Shopee. Once you have that, go ahead and We'll take a look at the listing, uh, the live streaming guidelines, and then after that, track your performance through the live stream or the live streaming tab. Thank you.